that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? On yesterday's episode of the John Camby Show, one of our viewers wrote in saying, hey, did you see the new, they just dropped that new The Office mm -hmm. trailer, the one that's set in Australia. And you know, when, when I first heard about it, I thought this is a great idea. They got the original, one of the original producers of the American version of it is behind it. Thought this sounds great. But the person who wrote in yesterday said, I'm not sure what I think about it. This morning I watched this trailer and I do know what I think about it. <laughs> it's shit. Wow, this is bad. Like, I, when they created the American version of The Office, it was with the understanding that very, very, very few people in America had actually seen the Ricky Gervais uh, original version of The Office in the UK. Not many people, I mean, there are some people in America who saw it, but it was a very, very small amount. So you were, in essence, introducing this concept of The Office to the American audience. I guarantee you, you'll have a hard time finding a lot of people in Australia who have not seen Michael Scott's The Office. There are not many people in Australia who have not seen Steve Carell in that show. They know it. They know that show. So, so it's a different thing, right? So I thought they were going to make, you know, it's very much like The Office, but it's a different industry. It's a different dynamic and all this kind of stuff. They even use the same color schemes. Oh, yeah. Did you it, notice that? It looks that? like the same office. It looks like they just recycled the set. They made every single character an archetype and just replaced the archetypes. They just gave the colorist the same LUT. So you it's all it, the same coloring. You know what it felt like to me when I was watching this trailer? It felt like Saturday Night Live was doing a spoof yeah, of The spoof Office. On the, yeah. <laughs> and this was them doing The Office. Or, you know what? Saturday Night Live is too generous. A local theater troupe decided they were going to do their own spoof of The Office. And, and like, here's the thing. It's a comedy. I didn't grin once. I take it back. I take that back. I got a kind of a smile when she goes, I don't think his sexual orientation is, is relevant here when he asked, he asked what the nationality was. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll give it that, that, that one was a little funny, but nothing else, nothing else in that trailer made me grin or chuckle. It just felt like some comedy troupe trying to do a spoof of it. It It's not like, I get it. It's called The Office. You want to make it feel a little bit like the original Office. I understand that. I said that on yesterday's show. I get that. That makes sense. But it it looks like Volcano to Dante's Peak. It just looks like they're just... It's a bad spoof of it. It just... It was not funny. It didn't look interesting. I didn't like any of the characters. And I think it's... That trailer's a disaster. Now, maybe the show is really good. We've all seen bad trailers to good movies or good shows. That happens. And maybe that's the case here. But my first thought is, if you had to put together a trailer, you want to put together some of the funniest bits and really get people hooked. And if that was the funniest stuff, this show's in trouble. Now, I'm not speaking for anybody else in the room. We haven't talked about it. But I think this trailer is a disaster, and I have less than zero. You know, I always say that the job of a trailer is to increase your anticipation for a show. I have actually lost all of my anticipation for this. I have no plans to watch this now, unless some of you guys write into me and tell me it was hilarious. Anyway, Chris, you had a chance to see the trailer for this new office. What did you think? I think it looks like an Australian version of the office. <laughs> <laughs> it did what it was supposed to do because the office that we all know and love is also not the original office. Right. That was another spinoff. The British Ricky Gervais one is the original one. So when those trailers first came over here for Steve Carell's, it didn't look that great. And honestly, that first season was not very yeah, good. It, no, it was carbon. We it all... was it was actually carbon copy of the the BBC version. Yep. But when you're an American trying to deliver like dry comedy, well, not just dry comedy, but the like a, a British sentiment to the punchline. It's like you're just reading a script. You're not actually, it work you're not with this you. Audience. Yeah. So we have the benefit of having The Office had been a wonderful, amazing series that we all got to see in, to its completion. And now we're making that comparison. So this might be a really, really great show. Who's to say? Australian and New Zealand humor tends to be a little different too anyway um, than American humor, than British humor, et cetera, et cetera. Um, honestly, the thing I'm most excited about in here though is Jonathan Bra being in it uh, from the What We Do in Shadows movie. That's how I knew him. Oh, okay. And, and I'd give it a shot for him. 
But I'm I'm going to hold off on judging it too harshly just because I remember seeing that first office trailer with John Krasinski and mm. and that guy from The Daily Show as that's how I knew Steve Carell and was like this doesn't look very good. And then I loved it and it's one of my favorite things ever. So yeah. I don't know if that'll happen here but it could. Ray, you're a big the office yeah. guy you like what did you think about the trailer i i can't say anything because i actually was thinking right now hey i should go back and watch the first trailer for uh, the american office just to see if i well because i already seen the whole thing and i know i liked it so yeah. maybe it's not really a a good look but you know what i'm not gonna hold my judgment as as well i'm gonna give the first episode a shot maybe some of these characters will you know grab onto my my attention and i'll actually uh like the series but i can't say anything but the trailer's bad you're right there's the first part of the trailer i got a chuckle and then the rest just went downhill like but i just went it just wasn't funny maybe it's because yeah. it's a, a well, australian comedy i don't know <laughs> i've rarely seen trailers for comedies that work for me because trailers for comedies are very difficult because you have to shoehorn in a possible uh, a quick setup a portion of the setup mm -hmm. without getting the full reference of the scene right. and then you're given the punchline and you're supposed to just be like laugh at that punchline with a little bit of setup it's very 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 difficult to give a very a, a good uh, and concise comedy trailer like most comedies yeah. i've seen i hate the trailers i love step brothers I really only liked the trailer for it because I knew Will Ferrell enough that I was like, this will this will sell. But mm -hmm. but yeah. And and as far as like going back to season one of uh, the, the Office, I honestly tell people to skip season one yeah. and start with season two. Yeah. Am I the only guy who likes season one of the North too, American? The but, Office? but I watch the BBC and I'm telling you, man, it is almost line for line in certain right, scenes. But, but I hadn't seen the BBC one before right. season season one. Right. So it totally worked. And, and I give people that I'm like, if you've seen the BBC, like you've caught it on netflix or you whatever like it's becoming a smaller and smaller population i've seen it now because so many years have passed I, I always give that caveat but if they haven't then i'm like just jumping with season one well and are we gonna be able to watch this because the hollywood reporter said that this is not gonna be available on prime in our country yeah it, there there will be a way to I watch was gonna it say, i mean a vpn can fix anything but yeah yeah so oh, i know a guy i know so a guy this is the office uh remake we've been reporting on for like Mm -hmm. months this is the one and we can't oh watch there's it a different one oh. though as well because there's going to be another one yep, the there one. you go yep. but that's up, about then. a paper and that's with um Donald Gleason. I think. they don't need yeah, Donald Gleason. Oh, i'm looking forward one. to that one. okay yeah thank you Don't because know. the whole time i was thinking this is what we've been waiting for no i and again my my big i think the biggest problem here i have with it is that when they made an office in north america that looked a lot like the the british one mm -hmm. it was to an audience that never saw the british one sure. yeah the and Australian I agree with that. The Australian audience They've has seen, seen Steve They've Carell's seen. The Office. They've seen it. Yep. I just know how it's going to be responded to. So anyway, it's guys, like more of the same. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. And Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on Prize Picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you have to do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in most states, including California, Texas, and Georgia. You see, Prize Picks puts their members first, so all withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. When my picks hit, I can get my money in as quick as 15 minutes. And I was pleasantly surprised by just how quick and easy it was to get set up and registered and ready to go. Here's a couple of examples of picking your more or less. Tyreek Hill for more than 90 receiving yards, Dak Prescott for more than 263 passing yards, and CeeDee Lamb for more than 96 receiving yards. So guys, download the Prize Picks app today and use the code CAMPIA and get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code CAMPIA on prize picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prize picks, run your game. Question is for you. What did you think about this trailer for the Australian The Office? I thought it was hot garbage and <laughs> I, I don't know. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.